Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about some fundamentals three interview questions and answers. So let me start the first answer. Uh, what is an IP address? We all know IP address. Who manages the IP address? So this type of question, uh, generally they ask to freshers and sometimes a very senior level because it's always a very difficult to remember the basic concepts. So what is it? Uh, what it is? IP stands for Internet Protocol. We all know, right? So wha what exactly the IP address is? So it's nothing but a address having information about how to reach a destination or you can say how to reach a, a specific host, especially if we talk about the outside the LAN. So IP address is containing 32 bit of unique address and uh, 232 address spaces. And generally they have the two notations, number one uh, decimal no uh, notation and number second we have hexadecimal notation. Now who manages this IP address? So it's a, there is a form or you can say the authority that is called IANA that is Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. So this is the authority, this is one of the standard organization who assign the IPs to every even the uh, you can say the organizations. Now what are the different classes of IP addresses and what are the range of each classes. So basically there are five uh, classes A, B, C, D and E and if you talk about the ranges uh, this, uh, this is all in front of you. If you talk about the class A right so this is 1 to 126 and class B 128 okay now there is something missing right 126 and 128 so where is 127 so 127 series used by IANA just for the loopback testing purpose right so they can also ask you that what is loopback testing or what is loopback address so keep remember this whole series is known as a loopback Loopback is generally, if I can say, uh, it's nothing but whenever there will some communication, TCP, IP or whatever, that is going to, you know, uh, will be a loopback that, that is not going to outside that uh, IP. So that what exactly the loopback uh, address. Now, uh, class C, uh, we have 192 to 223, class D, which is reserved for multicasting. We will talk about the IP multicasting as well and class E we have for the experimental purpose. Now this is the particular link uh, tutorials point you can go to that and you can learn more about IPv addresses. Now what is subnet mask? So subnet mask is a 32 bit number that is used to identify the subnet of an IP address. Now exactly why it is 32 bit? So because every octet have 8 bit. Now there is four, uh, you can say there is four things. So we have multiply 8 into 4 that is 32, right? And obviously uh, we can't understand in the form of ones and zeros, but computer can understand ones and zero. So they have the combination of ones and zeros. We all know about the binary one, right? So let me show you just an example. So these uh, eight octets, right? That is 255. Again, eight octets are uh, uh, 255. Uh, sorry, eight bits, uh, my bad. And again, there is eight bits, right? So it's totally uh, like this one, 255 dot. This is in the decimal form. And this one is the uh, in the binary one, you can say. And this is the purpose, uh, sorry, uh, this is the link where you can directly jump and you can uh, check all these uh, related concepts, what exactly the subnet marks, uh, mask and how actually it works, right? Now, what is default gateway? So, uh, checking the default gateway is very, actually very simple. You can just uh, go for the, uh, you know, uh, just open the command prompt and just enter IP config and you will get your uh, default gateway. But what it is exactly? So it's nothing but, you know, uh, it generally connects the internal network to the outside network. So this is what a default gateway. Uh, it sometimes it also, you know, uh, act as a proxy server and a firewall. 
so what protocol is used by the ping ping command right uh, so it's nothing but a icmp uh, which is not uh, which is internet control message protocol and that uh, protocol is used by ping so now name the ports used by ftp so particular there are two ports of ftp 21 and 20 now 21 is used for the control connection uh, whereas the 20 port number 20 used for the data connection now what is the difference between them so control connection is basically for sending the control information let's say identification uh, or maybe the password maybe something command to change the remote directory uh, uh, if you want to send any some uh, store files these are the some things which is used by the control connection and whereas the data connection this is for sending the actual file now what is mac address we all know every devices who have the internet uh, they have uh, some mac addresses right so mac addresses are unique and they have the 48 bit hardware numbers of computers which are embedded into a network card now they can also ask you question that uh, where that mac mac address is embedded in your laptop so your answer should be uh, it, it might be in uh, an ic or uh, maybe in the uh, you can say the motherboard or directly you can say uh, uh, that will be in the nic that is network interface card generally that's why we we called it sometimes uh, nic now the MAC address is also known as the physical address of a network device and what is IP multicast we were talking about that right so multicasting is nothing but uh, one sender sending uh, I mean uh, transferring of data or maybe the some traffic from one senders right some one senders to more recipients or maybe one right or more senders to one or more recipients so and vice versa this is how exactly it works now in multicasting traffic reclines between the boundaries of unicast and broadcast so it servers direct single copies of data streams and that are then simulated and routed to host that requested you can uh, this is a very good concept actually in IP multicast so you can google it more uh, because as this is not a full course only for the IP multicast otherwise I definitely I will tell you uh, how exactly it's a it's a very good concept you can directly Google and you will get to know each and everything so difference between public and private IP addresses we all know private IP right there is particular class a b c uh, there is some private ips apart from that uh, there is some public ips mainly public ips right so private ip is used with the local network and public ip is used for the outside the network so here is a some differences private ip is for the local a public is for the global and private ip uh, address to committed within the network right for example 10 dot something something right and public IP address is to communicate outside the network for example uh, let's say 197.65.2 something like that right private IP address differ in uniform manner public uh, IP address differs in varying range so you can you can check all these uh, differences right and private IP address are free of cost whereas public IP address comes with a cost and who assigned it IANA right I hope you remember this name IANA now can you explain what subnetting so yeah so when a bigger network is divided into a smaller networks in order to maintain security then that is known as the subnetting means you are breaking the subnets you are breaking the subnets into uh, some smaller networks you can say uh, this thing so that will be very easy you know to maintain the uh, networks because maintaining the smaller networks is far easier uh, than maintaining the bigger network now can you know what is the network address translation that is the net I hope you have uh, uh, you know already about this one but if you don't know uh, then let me tell you that once you will start working in the organization uh, 
uh, every time you will face this IP native IP why what exactly it is so it's a network address translation and it is a process in which one or more local IP address right uh, it may be one or it may be multiple is transferred into one or more global IP address why they are transferring because in order to access the internet that's why we uh, we need the native uh, IPs so it may be the vice versa not not only for the local IP address to global IP address right so it it uh, it may be the vice versa like this one now explain the difference between static and dynamic IP a static IP definitely is not going to change anytime okay uh, here is not add not change any uh, at any time right this one should not be there okay uh, which means it's a static IP address and is provided uh, then it can be changed or modified whereas the dynamic is always changing right uh, for example if you see uh, somewhere if you like like IBM there is a IBM expose right whenever you are, you are going to search any of the public IP let's say the tor IP it's going to be a dynamic one and uh, uh, let's say you have the static IP something like uh, which is exactly assigned to some organization then it's a static IP because they are not going to change their IP now how will my computer get its IP address actually how I can see the IP address that should be the right question uh, so directly we need to uh, start the program so we need to open the command prompt and we need to just enter IP config once you will uh, write the IP config and enter it you will you will get all all your details from the default gateway to subnet marks for to your IP address each and everything now IPv6 backward compatible with IPv4 uh, no IPv6 is not compatible compatible uh, is it possible to have an IPv4 IPv4 and IPv6 at a simultaneously yes it may be happen it can be happen yes it is possible and what is IANA uh, we already told you it's uh, uh, it assigned the IPs so it's one of the authority uh, which assign the IPs now, what is IP config IP config is nothing but uh, internet protocol configuration and this is usually a uh, command line application that displays all current TCP IP network configuration and DNS etc etc what are the differences between MAC address and IP addresses so it's very simple MAC address stands for media access control IP address stands for internet protocol MAC address having six byte uh, hexadecimal IPv uh, I, there is IPv4 and IPv6 so IPv4 having four byte and IPv6 having eight bytes and a de device attached with MAC address can retrieve by ERP protocol and a device attached with IP address can retrieve by RARP RARP protocol so there is an IC card manufacturer provided by the MAC address and here is internet service provider MAC address is used to ensure physical address of the computer whereas the IP address is uh, for the logical address of the computer now what is 127 it's a loopback address we already talked about it what is the difference between IP config and IF config commands so IP is uh, IF config is interface configuration generally we use for the in uh, Linux and IP config is internet protocol configuration uh, that one we use in Windows so that's it guys, I uh, will meet in the next lecture.